Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and today I'm going to show you how to make a micro size disc bound notebook or planner, or you can use it, you know, for pretty much anything you want. So, if you're a part of the planner community, you're aware of these little memory keepsake uh, journals, I guess you would call them, or notebooks. They're really, really cute and small, and there has been some. I don't know drama around these over the last month or two so but really with it being so small this is a great way to use your stash your supplies it's something that you could make yourself so technically this is really a micro size notebook or journal keepsake whatever you want to call it and micro size is three by four so that's the same size as these small project life cards very simple so your inserts whatever you put in here would be three by four okay and so the cover with the laminate border around it is four and a half by three and a half or three and a half by four and a half and the actual cardstock on the inside is four and a quarter by three and a quarter so that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut and make our own. Now if you want to get fancy, you can make sure you use maybe one of the cut aparts that comes with a paper pad and have text on the cover like this. Or you could use a die cut, something that you print. It just it really depends on how you want to do it. So you'll also need some disc. Um, I would suggest a small size disc. As you can see, these are small arc. No, these are tool disc. These are from a tool notebook. They're small, but not as small as the discs that are on this keepsake. But these are small enough. And really, there's very little paper in here. So this at least gives you room to add more if you want to. Okay, so let's get started. These are just scraps of paper that I've had in my stash. So I think I'm going to make this. I hope, hopefully they're big enough. I'm going to make this the outside since there is a keepsake with the gold polka dots. And then I'll make the gold polka dots the inside. So I'll need my paper trimmer. Okay. So I'm going to trim this down to three and a quarter by four and a quarter both of these because this is our cover Okay, so that worked out great. So let's just have those scraps left. I'm really tempted to make these gold polka dots the outside. Um, but the cool thing about this is that I can easily flip the covers over if I don't put any text on them and if there's no direction necessary for the covers. So, um, no specific direction. So now I'm just going to glue these two together. And really, with these disc bound systems, all you need is the disc, some laminate, the paper, and a way to punch the holes. And you can make your own any size you want. Trim that extra white space up. Let's do it this way. Okay. 
Okay. So I wanted the grade, the darker gradient to be at the bottom. So this is how my booklet will go. I'm going to round the corners, but first I'm going to trim where it didn't line up exactly right. So, okay, now I'm ready to round the corners and then laminate. I'm going to use my Corner Rounder by We Are Memory Keepers. It's called Crop a Dial Corner Chopper. Okay, and it has a quarter inch round and a half inch and let's see what a quarter inch looks like I think I'm gonna go with the quarter inch so I'm just gonna round all my corners okay so now my corners are rounded and I can go ahead and laminate like this is the point where if you wanted to add something to the cover you could go ahead and do that but I'm gonna leave them as is so and if you have ink you could actually ink your edges if that's something if that's a look that you like I'm not gonna do that for this one so I've been warming up my laminator let's get it out and for something this size, I recommend a 5 mil laminate. So that's what we're going to use. Okay, I'm not sure if these smaller pouches are 5 mil. They feel like it though. So, but if you're using the bigger ones, I suggest again 5 mil. But I'm using the small one trying to conserve. Uh, waste so I don't waste any um and this gives me just barely enough room to keep them apart and make sure I get that seal on them I hope it doesn't cause an issue so this says it's hot I have not let it warm up as long as I normally would if you get bubbling with your laminator, I suggest letting it heat well past the time that it says that it's hot, that the indicator comes on because I found that when I just wait until the indicator comes on and laminate, I have issues with bubbling. If I let it heat up maybe 15, 20 minutes longer than that, then I don't have that issue. I think it just takes time for the entire machine to warm up so here we go okay so let's see now we just need to trim this up And make sure not to cut inside the bubble because if you cut inside the bubble you're going to break the laminate basically which means you're going to break that seal and then you will have an opening there and I probably should have left it on because I do like to laminate again after I've trimmed and rounded the corners of the laminate just to make sure that everything is sealed and nice clean edges when I'm trimming the laminate I've gone over this before I line it up with one of these if I'm using one of the um, Fiskars paper trimmers I line the edge of my cardstock to the edge of the white and then slide the blade and this is also a paper trimmer that I this was like my first one so <laughs> it's kind of beat up but I only use it for like things that would be rough on your blade so this is not my 
good paper trimmer. So for this one, let's go ahead and trim it up. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and again chop the corners or crop the corners or round the corners. And I'm using the quarter inch and it never, ever, ever works right for me. Which is when I'm cutting, when I'm doing the laminate, it never does it. I don't know if I got a faulty one or what. But I always struggle. Okay. So this is how it looks so far. I'm going to run these through the laminator one more time. I did turn it back on. And hopefully they don't get stuck. <laughs> Now here is the tricky part. Let's cool those off. If you already have something from a disc bound system, then you can just use that as a guide. If you don't have a disc bound system punch that will punch through laminate, you can just use this as a guide. And I'm going to show you how you would do that on another piece of paper. <laughs> so let's say this is our book. You would put your guide on here on your book cover or whatever you need to punch in the position you want then you'll have to take then you would take a, some, a, a pen or a pencil to mark where the little mushrooms are Once you do that, which is what you have here, you would use just a regular hole punch. Then what you would do is punch the holes where you see the little rounded area of the mushroom. So I kind of just line it up to the top of the round part. So this is what you would have. Then you take your scissors and cut the slits. Okay. And so then you can do this with anything, not just a cover. Your piece would pop right on. So your cover, whatever you want to use, would pop on the same way. So if you don't have a mushroom punch, then that's the way to do it. But I do happen to have a mushroom punch. I, I have the Happy Planner version, which is this. It does not punch through laminate. Don't try it. <laughs> Do not try it. But these, you can punch paper with this, just regular paper and cardstock. And I would be careful with the type of cardstock that you put in it. But for regular paper, it works great. If you need to cut laminate or something heavier, this is what you would use. <laughs> this is the Arc System Punch. There is a difference in how the arc punches, however. Um, let me get a scrap piece of paper so I can show you the difference. I think I showed this in another video. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is just a piece of paper. Um, let me unlock it. Okay. So I'm just going to see. It's just so easy to punch with this thing. You really have to put some effort in with the Happy Planner version. Okay, it appears 
that they are the same. Let me put something behind this so you can see it a little better. I think maybe a black, something black. Yeah. So if you look at the comparison between the two, the Happy Planner is about an eighth of an inch longer. And it's just a smidge, maybe like less than a sixteenth of an inch or maybe a thirty-second of an inch narrower where the slit is. Do you see that? So there is a difference in the punches. I prefer the longer punch, but since I cannot use the Happy Planner to punch laminate, I have to use the arc punch. So let's see. Let's make sure everything is in the right direction. And I'm just going to take my sample and line it up. So I think I have it in the right place now. Now I'm going to punch and hope for the best. Make sure that I have everything in the direction that I want it to go. So I want this to be the front. Or do I? No. Because I won't see how blank this edge is. I want my punch to go there. So that means that has to be the back. And then this will be the front. So this is the back. I'm going to go ahead and punch it. Okay. And this is the front. So I'm punching it this way. I already have templates for the a mini, a half letter, and a classic size to show where you put your punches. I will also do one for this micro size. Okay, so now we have our holes punched. All I have to do is come in here and pop on my rings. Again, these are tool rings. Uh, tool is an Office Depot brand, I believe, and arc is the staples brand so and it's I think there's a 360 brand that's sold at Walmart I'm not sure if they have the small rings there but it's worth a try I know they have the big rings because I have some of them um, okay there we go so there's our little Keepsake. Let's put this back. So here is the keepsake notebook that I made myself, the DIY version versus the Happy Planner version. So now all I have to do is cut my 3x4s, punch them, and fill it up, and it's ready to go. If you make one of these, I'd love to see it. If you post on social media, just tag me. You pretty much, you can find my links um, in the description box below. If you like videos like this, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!